Okay, so today we're going to talk about aliases and fragments in GraphQL. You know, I've been online for a bit trying to learn GraphQL. And one thing I noticed in all these tutorials, every last one of them, nobody really explains fragments and aliases in a way that you can understand. Nobody does. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I've even I've gone and looked at the documentation on the Apollo website and it doesn't make sense. It's trash, you know, but hopefully after I go through these examples using the Trevor Blades uh, playground, hopefully you guys will get it and it'll make sense. So fragments and aliases. Let's go. So now we're going to get more into. Um, some things with syntax in GraphQL so that you can understand it. Um, right now, I'm going to talk about fragments and I'm going to talk about aliases. So aliases are basically, um, you know, there are ways to identify multiple types of queries that are very similar, but they're done at the same time. I'm gonna give you an example. So this is one of the features about GraphQL that makes it, I guess, in a lot of ways, uh, superior to uh, a RESTful API call. So let me explain this again, because a lot of people don't even explain this correctly. So right here, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this acronym web service that I've used on a couple of other projects. This is the URL we're going to use. These are the parameters, long form, short form. So I'm going to use short form. And with this, I'm going to demonstrate this with the Insomnia uh, app, which I recommend instead of Postman. It's free. This is the URL, this is the parameter, this is the value. I send it, and this is what I get back. Now, short form, this acronym is A-N, it could be anything, right? So let's do this, uh, M-I, right? And then I send. And of course, MI, and I get these things that MI can stand for, myocardial infraction or infarction, sorry. We go down the list. Let me, let me um, I'm going to close that up. Myocardial infraction, myotic index, myoinositol, and probably like the list goes on, microsatellite instability. See that, all this stuff. Primary motor co cortex, I don't know what that means. Uh, motivational interviewing. And the list goes on. Metaphase I, and so on. So, say I had an API or an app for some reason where I had to get back all of these acronyms, but I had to also get back all of these acronyms, right? ATF, right? The problem would be that, um, well, the problem would, would be that I'd have to make two API calls to get back both of these. Whereas using an alias, I can do one API call, but give back all the data for ATF search and the MI search all in one shot. And so that's one thing that makes GraphQL superior. So, I'm looking at this and let's go over here and let's 
talk about this. So we have this data. I'm going to say, we're going to look at continents, right? So, um, sorry. Let's go ahead and open up this for a query. Continents, right? And say name and code. I need this. This is all our continents. Africa, Antarctica, Asia, North, North America, Oceania, South America. Again, these are all the continents in this database. I'm not saying this information is completely accurate. Don't know, don't care, actually. <laughs> so um, now that I, I want to get back information on the countries, right? In general, I would do this, countries. Because again, I know the, the documentation a little bit now. Name, code. So now I got back a countries, an array of countries with the name and code for every country, right? And of course, I can look at my document object model and do that, starting at query. Right, continents, which is what I did right here. Continents, continent filter input, of course. Then I have street queen operator. These are my uh, operators. And I explained how to use those in the last video. Um, code is what we're going to do our query on. And um, if you want to find the unique attributes of the continents, continent, code, country's name. That's what they have. Code, country's name. Find everything with countries. Country. These are all the things that a country can add. See, a capital, a language, an array of languages. See, Capital, right? And so, um, let's see. I've never seen this subdivision code emoji. Interesting. So we can also do this subdivisions. I just want to see what this looks like. Subdivisions. And what do we have in our subdivision? Uh, an emoji and a name. I'm just going to say emoji and name. See how we can get back all this information pretty easily. And most of these don't have an emoji at all. Oh my gosh. All right. Anyway. So yeah, again, play around with this, the documentation, so that you're comfortable with it. All right, so now, but say I want to just get information about a particular continent, right? So that which would be simple. And there are two ways you can do that, right? So let's go ahead and do it this way. Continents, we'll say it like this. We'll get rid of that. Continents, code, right? And I'm going to say... Let me go back to this continent. A F. I'm going to say EU. That's Europe. Right. Get rid of this. Continent EU. Oh, come on. It's killing me. Right. Name. And what else is in our continent? Right, we look here, continent. And we'll just say code. Okay. And the countries. Right. Okay. And we'll run it. And this is it for the, the country of Europe and all the countries that go with it. Okay. Now. Let's say you can do it that way, but you can also do it this way. 
Okay, so I did it continent. You also run a filter on continents. Continent, filter, right? And I'm gonna go back here, I wanna show you something. Continents, continent filter inputs. These are the inputs, I mean, the operators. But you also have to understand that there's only one thing you can run the filter on, and that's code. That's why that's listed right here. Filter, code, again. And then this is going to say code, EQ. The string EQ means equals continents EU. Then I do this name, right? Countries. Okay. And I should um, kind of return the same thing. Let me just uh, do code just so I can differentiate. And there we go. So one, I did continent, pass in the code parameter, then continents and filter on code. Okay. So now say wherever we have this app, right? And I really need to get back all the information on Europe, as well as Antarctica, right? So let's see, uh, I'm going to do this. Continents. Code. But I don't remember the, uh, the name for Antarctica. Okay. A-N, Antarctica. So we'll say Europe, Antarctica. Okay. We have to pull this out. So in this case, we would create an alias. Okay. So this is an alias right here. This is the query. Europe continent. And I got all the countries that come with Europe. And then Antarctica continent, all the countries that come with Antarctica. And I run this, and this is what it is. Right here. And I've done that a filter. Right. Right. And then you can also, no, we just keep it simple for this. So I went ahead and did this real fast and I'm going to supply a readme file that you can, or a file that you can download from my GitHub that basically documents all this. So basically this is a fragment and all a fragment is a piece of code that you can plug into a query that formats all the detail, all the information that you want. So here we go. This is called continent details country, and it's on continent. So basically you're passing in this object. Let me go back in our country, continent, this continent. You're passing in this object, continent right there. Okay. All right. And um, what do I get? Code, name, countries, and then countries, I get the name and the phone, right? And of course, I'm passing this information up in my variables right here, code EU. Okay, um, same thing right here. And then here, same thing. Continent details is on continent, except this, I'm asking for a different query, right? Instead of uh, having code, I just have name, countries, name, phone, states, which I don't have there with the name and the code, okay? Now I go down here and then here's where I put the query. I pass in code from right here, which is EU. 
continent, because this is all on continent code. And then I just plug in my fragment. Right? And this is what it looks like right here. On EU, this is all the information. The phone, 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 phone. Let's say uh, NA, North America. NA. Right? North America. These are the phones. And let's see if we can go to United States. Where is United States? U.S., United States, one. There you go. Okay. And now let's go ahead and change this from this to this. See? This is the power of fragments. Now, a completely different one. I have the phones, right? And I have states. Of course, there's no name and code in any of these states. This is the information they gave us. Right here, though. Here's name and code in the states. Alberta, British Columbia. Ah, Canada. Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Brunswick. Quebec, Saskatchewan. There are states in Cuba. There are no states in Krakow, Greenland, uh, all this stuff till you get to Mexico. So yes, um, I'm going to supply the code, but basically that's it. So for aliases, they're different names that you can name a query where basically you're passing just, there are multiple queries, but you pass in a different parameter and you differentiate those by, by a specific name. That's what the alias is. And what's the advantage? So that you can run these multiple queries, but you all do it in one shot. You all do it in one shot. Again, so if I have an app that has a dashboard, an app for, I don't know, uh, investment properties, right? And I want investments sold. I want properties sold. I want properties not selling. And I want properties that are working. And if you want the app, when you want the app to start up, you want to get properties sold and properties in, in process of closing in one shot instead of making two calls to the API. You want to do it in one shot. You don't want all the information. You just want these two queries. Do the one shot with GraphQL and making all those particular alias. I hope that I hope I'm making sense with that. So um and uh those are aliases, and this is fragments. You know, fragment basically sets up a query to where you have all the things that you want to be displayed on this continent or whatever, and then you plug it into your query. Plug it into your query right here. And you can create all types of things as long as it's a continent and plug it in right here and it'll run. You know, I just, I'll, I'll do something simple right here. Fragments, right? Continent. <laughs> With no data on continent, right? And for this, I'm just going to have name. That's it. See, content with no data. See, let's say here, there, North America. That's it. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, rewind the video, look at it, and... That's fragments and aliases. On to the next.